Hi, this is Clara. I'm here to show you how to assign assignments on Wonders. So the first thing that um, I typically do is that I go on to my Clever platform. This is the platform that we use to sign on onto all of our, to get onto all of our apps that we use at our district. So on there, and they see something similar to mine. So, um, you know, we favorited the things that we typically use and they also have extra things that they can do. Um, so I'll just go to the McGraw-Hill icon. My computer's a little bit laggy, the internet connection's wonky over on the side. So I hope you all are staying safe and healthy out there. Um, all right. So um, you go to the teacher's edition and currently we are working or we just finished week three. So this would be our bye week where I would test them from skills that they learned weeks one through three. So I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to go to week one to assign them um, some of the concepts that we've already covered just so that they are you know, practicing those skills. So for example, um, this assignment works on their comprehension, plotting and sequencing. So for example, this has, <clears throat> you know, a little passage that they read and then it tells what happens first. So I think that's something that I would like them to review. So I'll go to assign the resource. And then I'll just, you know, give it a name. So comprehension oh. and sequence. Actually made a previous video, but for some reason it did not upload. So I just click on all of my students. And then in the very bottom right here, there's an assign button. And then just click assign. So after you assign it, it's all done. Click done. And then um, if you go back to um, the login, after you log in on the bottom, there's a student's edition. So you can go on there. And this is what the parents will see in their end. And um, right here, it says to do and every assignment that you assign, there would be a little tiny number on this corner. So they would have a list of all the assignments that you assign them and the resource would be here. They would click on the resource here and the same thing when I click the resource to see what it was, it would pop up on their end. It would answer the questions and when they complete, they get like a little score and then they click submit down here and also if they go back to their um, home screen for wonders there's also games and the games actually correlates with the unit and the week that you're on so I'm probably going to change my calendar up so that they'll be back on the games and um, activities that are appropriate to what we've covered because we haven't covered anything from week four yet um, also, you could do it this way where you could tell the parents, you know, um, have students choose games, uh, choose five games that they want to practice, you know, out of all the resources that they have. So the resources and the games are actually the same thing. Uh, and so you could choose to assign it or you could choose, you know, for them just to play the games. Either way, they're, make, they're practicing. So that's it on how to assign a resource to the students. And I hope this helps and please feel free to message me if you have any other questions or any if you need any clarification. And, you know, I hope we all stay safe and healthy out there and we're all in this together. So take care. All right.